Right, well, we're about to make, or attempt to make, glasses from bottles. Now the problem with doing this with a broken bottle is the brakes up here are very fragile and as you can see like, there's a hidden crack. Now when this gets heated up there's a possibility that the crack could travel down the glass. So I well, hope that doesn't happen and we'll see how it goes. But first of all we need to build a jig. Now we need to have a board, something for the bottle to run on so okay. the bottle will be here now we have a glass cutter it's a little glass cutter piece now we will you could either cut the head off of this and screw it to the end down here so that it's sticking up slightly and then when the bottle's brought over it'll be in line and you just need two guides to roll the bottle around. Now I do plan on maybe screwing in two tubes here and here running across. We'll have two tubes going in down there and there and maybe a metal ruler up the middle just so that once the bottle's in between the rails I can put a big magnet somewhere on the metal rail right up against the bottom of the bottle just so it doesn't wander up and down because you get an uneven lip. So It'll hold it in place and then we just need to turn to actually score the glass with a really fine round head cutter that's on the end of here. So hopefully it will go to plan. So next up we just need to find us some tubes. If need be I'll just take apart my square edge and use that. But preferably I'll find some other rubbishy bit of metal just to screw down to use as the magnet hold. But yeah, we'll see when we come to there. Back in a minute. Well, yeah, I will quickly add. Now, the thickness of the wood here I've looked at, and I went and drilled some holes through my glass cutter head, just kind of where it would fit wherever I need it. Doesn't have to be any specific height, but if you've got your two roller tubes too close together I suppose your bottle would be so high off the board that obviously your cutter wouldn't cut it so it's kind of a bit of both you want to put your rails there till you're happy that you can run it smooth between the rails and then after that you'd maybe want to align this last so let's go get some rails we'll chop something yeah in my last video I said I didn't have a lamp to make my lamp turns out there was one just right under here. Oh, big trouble. Right, guys, we'll be back soon. Right, well, like the cavemen, we didn't have any round tube really kicking around, so it'll just be a case of getting another square edge. Put it up. Draw a line, it'll give us a rough line. Now we did get just a piece of square stick, hacksaw, choppy choppy, random size, there was no specific measurement. You want to bring it up, maybe not all the way to the edge. Follow my little line. Pick up the drill driver, no doubt it was the wrong tip in the end of it. a different size screw. Mm. That one was much too long. So it's running square to the edge. And that's only just kind of important because this edge is square, so it means this will be on square. So that's why we measure square from that edge. 
Now this bar here, I don't even know if I'll need it or if the bottle. Yeah, we'll use it. I might keep it stable. I'm just thinking with the print on the glass, it might make it a bit jumpy when it gets to that point. So I might actually just put one screw in and use maybe a spring or something to keep it under tension. That way I just need to bother about keeping the glass straight. Because if that sits still and this gets jumpy, there's no way that's going to come out with a straight edge. And it would probably get jumpy no matter if this was round or square. Just because of the unevenness. Right, so... We want it kind of... Like here, so we'll draw a fake line. Then we'll bring in our square edge again. Maybe this time we'll turn it around. So it says here. This is where our new line will be. So I'll come back once I put the other part on. Right, well we've got the other spar added on following the line back here, put the wood to the inside of it. Now we've got our little thing here, we've screwed this on so it's protruding up. Now if the bottle sits on it, we should at least be able to line it up, keep it lined up. Now, rather than wasting the square edge because it's better than this contraption, I decided just to make a lazy man jig, just a block of wood with two screws in it and I'll butt it up against the glass bottle from where I want it to be and I'll just screw that down to hold it in place and I'll use that to butt up against the bottle and then I'll be able just to unscrew and move where I want it to be for different size bottles. Only the way I have it is going to hang over because I didn't want to cut the head off the glass cutter so I'll hang over the edge and I'll just work it from the side but yeah come back when we get into some action as far as this part's going to go now it's butted up against it it's just going to be a case of rolling you'll hear it grunching against it And that's really it. You hear it? Crunchy, crunchy. You want to put a good score right into it. should be it. See this little score line? This should be enough to start the action. Now we can either do it with a multitude of blow torches of all different sizes. Could even use something like this. Now what I would advise is having a bucket ready with some water if ice ice as well if possible. Ice will do it even better actually. I've, a few times I've heated up a bottle and just rubbed ice on it and it cracks clean as well. But for our case we'll just have like a bowl of water there and we'll try heating it up and we'll see where it goes. Right well blow torches are burning and guys please wear gloves. Don't be in fact you know what hold on a second. Guys Please wear big welding gauntlets so it's nice and safe so that you're not being burnt and like this bottle has a crack in it where is it? coming down here and if you can see it on here but there is a big crack coming down here and it could make it travel you want to do, you see the bottle going shiny when you hit it that's enough just to blast it and come away
enough to put a bit of heat. need this much heat you could even just use a candle it's a lot more mellow and easier to take care of it could really smash just by using this Here it give a tink tink. Expecting it to explode because of the big crack. There we go. Hopefully. It has went over some of it. The split has come down to the line, which is good. Shows that we could get it to pop at the right place. But just now we've got a big squint line. Popping and tinging. <coughs> yeah, now if we sit up there. Maybe stick on the other glove because this is broken usually when the neck is on the bottle it's a lot easier just to hold on to the neck and it just pops off in one now this doesn't look like it's going to come off even for the first part but that's a rough idea on how it comes off When you don't have a broken bottle, which I've got better hopes for the next one. This one actually curved down past the line, so this one's a fail. Although it looks nice, still a fail. Now, some dimensioned would look good as a vase, but unfortunately for this one being so uneven all over, and I could kind of straighten it out, but since it's got a crack, I'm not going to bother. So that one goes bye bye. And we move on to doing the next better bottle, which was cracked up on the neck. Will turn out to be a peach. So I'll stop for now. I'll do the rest of this exact same way as that. And I'll get back to you as soon as I'm finished. Right, well, I just blasted that one through. Popped it off. Can't find where I sat at the top now, but... Yeah, this is it anyway. It's my glass, as you can see, right here had... 
a tiny tiny chunk extra everything else was a nice clean cut the whole way around now all I have to do now is pull out some wet and dry you preferably want to wet this just to stop the glass dust from going everywhere and you'd be better off wearing a face mask because I wear them in every single thing I do that's it it's on now um, <laughs> Oh yeah, I've got transparent gloves on at the moment, so yeah, you get the idea. And whatever the profile is at. Now I use the shelf because, let me show you, when it hangs over the edge, I can twist it to a point so that this comes over and I can get just one part of the cup so I'm not rubbing and holding it at an angle and it's wearing it diagonal all over the cup. So the spot, the area I want is just here, so I will have this area here, working from the inside first and bringing it round. And as soon as that lines up with a white scribe mark, then I would put it down and start turning it to smooth off the glass. And that's even before I go and finish off the rim to make it look frosted and rounded. But yeah, that's it guys. It's been the Hunter and Benny H&B Partick Glasgow. Once was a broken useless bottle, now a beautiful embossed glass. Thank you very much for watching. Please do get the thumbs up on these things if you like them or think they're interesting. Because it doesn't matter how rare something is, if it's broken, I'll turn it into something. Now, we might see this soon. I might be turning this into a screwdriver. Or just something lightweight and fill it with resin and use it as a handle. I think that would look funky. We might even colour the resin before we stick it in the glass. But yeah, I'm not using that. But we'll do some stuff, we'll make some other stuff. And yeah, that's it. That's been a how to cut a glass bottle. A simple jig consists of a flat board. Just one rail really to push the bottle against, the other ones there just for support. A measuring stick to line up roughly where you want it against the cutter head and then put this at the back and screw it down. That's just a case of putting pressure on the glass backwards against the block and against one of the rails and just push and turn. As soon as you get a decent white scribed line in, there you go. It doesn't have to be any deepness at all, you just apply the heat. You don't have to apply it everywhere, it's not just the heat hitting the area that cracks the glass. It's actually when you heat it at one part, it heats up. When you get round to the other part and heat it up, the other side's shrinking and cooling down as you heat this side up. And that's what's making it split along the line. So don't sit burning into the bottle thinking hitting one area where the heat's going to make it crack. That's, that's what makes it split down the bottle. So, yeah, quick and easy, nice glasses, I'll stop waffling on. Bye for now guys, remember leave comments, love the comments, and get a thumbs up. This has been Hort Hunt On, I'm out for now, bye. So guys, finished article, looks lovely, all cleaned up, lovely jubbly. Hunter and Benny, H&B, Partick, Glasgow, stonking glass. Still got to tidy up the edge a little bit. But it's pretty much done. Not bad. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you soon. Hort Hunter out.